TikTok's been going crazy recently with a new dance coming out of New York which has been trending all over the app. But a lot of people don't even know that they're dancing to one of the most disrespectful dances to come out in a long time. Today, we are going into the violent backstory behind the dance called the Naughty Bob. So guys, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now I'm sure everyone's heard of Raid Shadow Legends before. And me personally, I've been seeing Shadow Legends all over YouTube for a couple years now. And I ain't gonna lie, it's actually a really good game. Raid Shadow Legends is basically a free to play RPG on mobile and PC that lets you explore countless amounts of crazy champions and level them up to fight in pop arena matches. I personally have been playing it on my phone and it really brings a console level experience to your mobile. I've really been liking a couple champions recently. My favourite is probably Venus. She's a really good offensive support champion and she's literally useful anywhere in the battlefield. I also like another character called Sophilia. She's really good at taking down those hard to kill arena teams. Now guys, if you don't have Raid downloaded yet, now is the best time. This month is going to be a huge month for Raid. They just released a brand new faction with some amazing champions, including Forest Elves, Ents, Dreads and Faze. They're all here, and if that's not enough, Raid's got a full lineup of events, along with a new season of the Forge Pass where you could get your hands on some of the most powerful gear the game has ever seen. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you could get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. And if you haven't downloaded Raid yet, click the link in my description or scan my QR code right here on the screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. An Epic Champion, Rector Draft, 200k in Silver, one energy refill and the XP boost and even an ancient shard which you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get the game. I'll see you guys in the game. Before we get into this, if you haven't already, go check out the song I'm talking about. I put the link to it in the description. But to start this story, we have to go to Harlem in New York, more specifically a district inside Harlem called Sugar Hill, a place infamous for multiple reasons. But nowadays, it's known to be the area of a gang called the Old Wires, or Original Youngins, a gang which has beef with a lot of Harlem gangs, and gangs from a neighboring borough called the Bronx. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know the Bronx drill music scene has been popping off lately, which I go into a bit more in one of my videos I posted up a few months back. And even despite Sugar Hill not being in the Bronx, the OYS gang has been a big part of this Bronx drill scene, with OY rappers like E. Baby and Sugar Hill Keem starting to hit some good views on their tracks. It wasn't long till other members of OY started hopping on tracks as well, including two brothers who went by the names DD and Naughty Osama. But these guys were different, they were kids. Naughty was 14 and DD was only 15 when they first started rapping and they were really rapping some hot stuff on drill beats throwing up gang signs and dissing dead ops despite being so young but unfortunately soon both their lives would change forever on July 9th Naughty and DD were walking with each other in Harlem until they separated around 3pm DD went back to his block but Naughty alongside one of his friends were taking the subway to somewhere else this was when Naughty and his friend allegedly spotted a 15 year old opposition to the OY gang. Naughty and his friend were said to have cornered the 15 year old on the platform, attacking him with a broomstick, with even some reports saying Naughty and his friend even pushed the 15 year old onto the train tracks at one point. But what Naughty didn't know was that the 15 year old was packed with a knife, and the altercation ended with the 15 year old stabbing Naughty, causing him to lose a lot of blood and collapsing inside the station. Naughty was rushed to hospital, and his brother Didi got the call that Naughty had been stabbed and went to go visit him him in the hospital. But sadly it wasn't long before Naughty, a 14 year old kid was pronounced dead. New York was in shock. Naughty's death was all over the news and internet, main reason just to do with how young he was. But Naughty's death was also a subject to a lot of disrespect by opposition gangs in the Bronx and Harlem. See Naughty's gang the OYs are one of the most hated gangs in Harlem and have a reputation for being quite disrespectful in their songs. Even Naughty himself would diss dead ops in multiple songs he released before his death. 
was definitely led to him being disrespected so much. Opposition gangs even destroyed the mural which was made for him, and Naughty was starting to be a name regularly dissed in Bronx Jewel Tracks. But recently, this disrespect towards Naughty's name was taken to a whole nother level when the Brooklyn Jewel Group called 4 1 made a song called the Naughty Bot, literally making a dance move which mimics the way Naughty Osama was stabbed to death. And the worst thing about the song is it's actually a hit. The track hit a million views in less than 3 days on YouTube and was even trending on the YouTube homepage. But a lot of people were kinda confused. Why is the Brooklyn Jewel Group dissing a dead rapper from Harlem? Like both areas where the 4-1 group is from and where Naughty is from is more than an hour apart. So it would be kind of a stretch for them to both have problems on the streets. But before the 4-1 group brought out this naughty diss track, 4-1 and OY had a bit of bad history between each other. So 4-1 are a drill group from Brownsville in Brooklyn, an area which borders East Flatbush, the birthplace of the notorious Brooklyn rapper Bobby Shimmerda's gang GS9. Brownsville is known in New York to be one of the most dangerous areas in the city, with one of the highest murder rates, drug related incidents and the lowest life expectancy in New York. But the 4-1 group kinda came out of nowhere, they really started gaining some traction this year, mainly due to one of their rappers called Kyle Rich, dropping some good consistent singles which were hitting millions of views. Kyle Rich also dropped a track with other 4-1 members back in January, and the song proved to be a breakout track for the Brownsville group, who literally came out of nowhere. But the fact they came out of nowhere also drove a few speculations towards the group. Just like most drill music coming out of New York, 4-1 were talking a lot of violence in their songs, and a lot of people were saying they weren't really about what they were rapping, and that the group is just a bunch of civilians who started to get together and start rapping. But despite all the rumours, they were becoming the biggest drill group in the Brooklyn drill scene. Now you're probably wondering how this new drill group in Brooklyn, who supposedly has no issues with anyone else, ever got into a feud with Naughty Osama's gang, the OYS. All of this kinda stems from a situation that happened a while back, from two rappers of the OYS gang called Blockwork and Sugar Hill Keem. Allegedly, both rappers are walking down Harlem when the opposition tried to pull up on them. That's when one man who police claim is Sugar Hill Keem lets off fire into the gang who's trying to pull up on them, while the other man who police claim is Blockwork hides behind a car. Now both Sugar Hill Keem and Blockwork got arrested for this, and Sugar Hill Keem started claiming that Blockwork snitched on the case, but Blockwork also claimed that Sugar Hill Keem was dry snitching on him. But it seems that for whatever reason, the old wise gang took Sugar Hill Keem's side on this, causing the whole old wise gang and another gang linked to the OYS called the OGs to turn on Blockwork, especially one OGs rapper called Sha EK, who called out Blockwork multiple times. So now this is when the Brooklyn Drill Group 4-1 gets involved. Blockwork at the time was being managed by someone called Big KVH, the same person who manages the 4-1 group. So 4-1 and Blockwork started linking up, and as expected, the OYS and OGs gang didn't like this new link up, and a lot of their rappers had a few things to say about this. Also, at the time, OG's rapper Sha EK had a separate problem with Brockwork and 4-1's manager Big KVH. KVH used to actually be Sha EK's manager until both of them ran into issues and split up. Sha EK then went on to his Insta Live on March the 2nd, calling out 4-1's manager and also dissing 4-1. That's when 4-1 member Kyle Rich snapped back at Sha EK saying that his manager pretty much made him to what he is now, and also threw in that he's smoking on Sha EK's dead father. After this, another 4-1 member called D Bills and former OYS member Blockwork jumped on a track called OG's K, heavily dissing mainly Sha EK and his gang. In this track, Blockwork pretty much says that he's repping 4-1 now, with the line better run when I scream 4-1. Sha EK responded to all of this in his song called New Ops. In this tune, he pretty much says why is 4-1 dissing him, when before they were asking for features, and he also calls 4-1 broke. Now this is when Naughty Osama gets involved in this story. For one K, y'all jacking the stitches. Okay, y'all gonna get stitches. Call him my two when it's time for the mission. Split to the A, trying to see who we click. You jacking for one, now you losing your life. Bitch, I'm a demon and I don't play. play. Nigga, shmoney a bitch, you got pull for a bite. Less than a month after uploading this, sadly Naughty was stabbed to death on the underground, and then the Naughty Bop dance mocking his death was made by the 4-1 members. 
Now this Naughty Bop dance stirred up a lot of drama for 4-1. A lot of people thought this was way too disrespectful, especially just due to how young Naughty was when he died. This even caused issues inside the group. A rapper from the 4-1 group called Maya Kenzo posted to her Instagram saying that she's not messing with the Naughty Bop and says she's staying in her own lane. 4-1 member Kyle Rich then posted up on his Instagram that Maya Kenzo is not a part of 4-1 anymore and then Maya took 4-1 out of her Insta bio. Even surprisingly, former old wise rapper Blockwork had a big issue with this as well. He took to Instagram pretty much stating that he's not taking any more talk on Naughty's name and followed up on another post saying that 4-1 are talking about Naughty just for clout. It's kind of surprising that Blockwork was sticking up for Naughty considering that Naughty literally made a track before he passed saying he's not messing with 4-1 members because they're chilling with Blockwork. Blockwork and members of 4-1 go back and forth on socials. Your block don't even jack you. Sugar Hill what? They don't jack you! After this, Blockwork even made a diss track directed towards 4-1 called 4-1K, dissing 4-1 members individually, while also dissing a whole lot of other people that had nothing to do with the situation. Naughty's brother Didi Osama, alongside other members of OYS, also made a track after Naughty Bop was released called Naughty Gang, dissing literally the whole of Harlem and the Bronx, who was all doing the Naughty Bop at the time. I wanna know what everyone thinks of this song. Do people think 4-1 went too far with this one? And I want to know how everyone thinks this is going to end. It's been your boy Kid Nerd and peace out.